Well, it's fall, and we're about to have some fun, so welcome to the fall fun sale! Well, hello, my many friends! Welcome to Skunky Junk. It's so great to be back, and I'm really, really looking forward to this next chapter of the Skunky Junk journey. So, I thought I should just start, for those who are returning Skunky Junk friends, um, just start with a little explanation of what's been going on, and then I'm going to explain how things are going to work here on Skunky Junk going forward, and then we'll get going, because I've got a lot of really great things that I want to show you today. Now, you'll notice that this is not live, so this is not a live sale, and that I will explain momentarily. So, you may recall, those of you who've been around for a while, uh, that last year, Carol and I moved into a new house. We didn't move a long ways away, we're in the same town, but we moved into a beautiful, new, wonderful house that we love. And then shortly after we moved, I had a recurrence of my MS. So I have episodic MS. It's only the second episode that I've had, but it was a fairly severe one. And so my um, vision went um, sideways and my balance was off. Just lots of things were going on. So it, I, we first got through the move and then I thought, oh, well, it's time to start back up onto the channel. Then all of that happened and it just was not, not the right time. So now a year has passed since the move and um, I've struggled and struggled to try to figure out a way to break back into the YouTube community. And so we're gonna do it in a little bit different way than we did in the past. Maybe that someday we will have or participate in live sales again, but life has gotten very busy for us. And um, on top of that, People have kind of encroached on the Tuesday night time slot that we used to use. And so I've been afraid to kind of commit to a specific time when we could have um, weekly live sales. And um, I will also just say that the um, invoicing and shipping and all of that just became a lot. It really became a lot. And so um, I work full time have a very, very full-time job, and um, you know, and then just a life that we're living. So this is very much a side hustle thing for us. It's something that we do entirely for fun because we love it so much. That said, I have spent a year um, acquiring things, <laughs> and it's time to sell some of those things because uh, there is a very fine line between collector and hoarder, and I don't want to be a hoarder. So we're going to pass some of these wonderful things along to all of you. So here's how things are going to work in the new Skunky Junk world. You will notice that we have a Skunky Junk website at skunkyjunk.com, skunky with a Y. And um, you can go there and at that website, which is run by Squarespace, um, that's where you can purchase items. So it's a store. Um, it's managed through Squarespace, so it's a, you know, a, a, your information is safe there. Um, you can use PayPal to pay just like in the past, but um, it'll all go through the website. So you don't need to um, put anything in the comments here. Love your comments, of course, but you don't need to try to request an item through the comments. That won't work. The only way to purchase an item is to go to the skunkyjunk.com website and there you can purchase the items. And that way there's never any question about whether something is available or it's been sold um, because once it's sold, it will show us sold on the website. There's only one of most of the items um, for this week's sale that will be available. Um, there on the website, you can check out our blog, which was just getting underway. So there's not a lot there on the blog yet. Um, you can also check out our merch and that kind of thing. We don't have a lot of merch, but anyway, it's going to be very exciting to have our own website. You can purchase through there. It'll notice, notify me and I'll ship your items out to you just as quickly as possible. And I will ship them with the same care and love that I always have. So no change there. So let's talk about some of these cool items that are 
for sale, um, for this first sale. This is our um, fall fun sale. So there's lots of fall items, a few Thanksgiving kind of items, a few Halloween items, and then some just general fall items. So that'll be fun. Um, our next sale, and I expect um, for this first couple of months, I'm going to put up a new sale every two weeks. Um, this sale was supposed to go up last Friday, but I went and got COVID on top of everything else. So now it's delayed. So <laughs> at least we delayed the very, very first one. And then I can hopefully have sales um, on the website every two weeks. So before the sale goes live on the website, it's not live just yet, um, I will release these videos. And so as soon as the video is released, I will make sure that the store is open at that time. So that's how this will work. We'll release the video and open the store fairly simultaneously. And um, that way you can come here to YouTube where all of our family lives, our lovely YouTube family. You can review the, um, the uh, video that has all of the items shown, just like a live sale, but then you can purchase them on the Skunky Junk website. I hope that makes sense, everybody. I'll try to put a little description in the description box as well so that you can link up to skunkyjunk.com. Let's start looking at some of these cool items. This, um, this is a, a really cool one, actually. So Halloween collectors uh, will love this. It is by Gotham Rattles. That's shown there in the center. It's a metal rattle, it's old, has the wooden handle. The wooden handle is firm, there's nothing loose here. There's a little tiny bit of paint loss around the edges and that kind of thing. Just because of its age, there's no way that there would be no paint loss. If there was no paint loss, you would assume then that this is a reproduction, which it is not. It is a vintage item. So this is also one of the more expensive items in today's sale. This is $40, it's available on the Scratchy Junk website. And it's that price because that's what they go for. And I paid a lot to get it. So look at this. Do you remember these? This is a um, foam face pumpkin. I am not thinking of the name of the company that made these right off the top of my head. It is in the website, it will tell you. Um, and it's shown on the bottom, but it's just impossible to read. So this is foam. I'll show you. I don't want to squish him too much because it's old foam and I don't want it to tear. It does have a few small flaws. See right at the top um, where the where the handle is, there's a little bit of a nib off of the foam there, but mostly he's in really, really good shape. The holes that you see are original. Um, it was just holes in the foam. There's a couple of those in the back. They are not aftermarket holes. They're original holes. He is, his. he's about the size of my head, so, um, and then there's this expression. So this guy is $25. Um, he's easy to ship because he's very light, but he's kind of big. So I'm gonna make sure that I use a bo box big enough for him. Uh, but there you go. If you'd like one of those old, um, I would say late 80s probably, uh, if I recall correctly, that's when these little foam pumpkin guys were around. So anyway, there's that guy. Here's a weird one. This is a weird one, but I like it. It'd be um, good for a little display somewhere. It's a wooden mask. It is hand carved. It's black. It's kind of a faded sort of charcoal black. And then this kind of terracotta color. Um, you can see his big nose there and his little tiny mouth. Um, so this is what this says. It says Spirit Mask in Bondu Village, Lower Sadiq River. That's what the original little tag says that was on it when I got it. So I, I, there's, I, I don't know. That's what I know about it. I just know what the tag tells me. It, um, on the back, you can see it has uh, a couple of uh, ring things with a wire to so that you can hang it if you cho so choose. You can see that it is hand carved wood inside of there. And um, that's what you've got. So this hand carved spirit mask is $20 and it's for available on the Skunky Junk website. One of the things that I have gotten into since we last spoke is ephemera. 
and I've I've always been a little bit into ephemera, but I've I've leaned in. <laughs> so I've bought a lot of pictures. I have piles and piles of pictures. In fact, our second sale on this channel will be a photo sale. So it's gonna have some cameras. You can see I've collected quite a few really cool old cameras behind me. A few of those will be for sale. Um, and then there'll be lots of photographs. And um, I have some beautiful old vintage uh, photo albums, some really, really cool. I'm just very excited to show them to you. But for this Halloween sale, uh, I thought to include a couple of cabinet cards. And these are, of course, um, beautiful little old ladies that make a great part of your Halloween display because they look like witches. I love her. Um, her name is not on hers. This is Aunt Nettie right here. Whoops, Aunt Nettie. Aunt Nettie the Witch and this one. So the backs of those look like this. They are available on the Skunky Junk website for $15. This here is a trivet. I do like trivets and that kind of thing just because I like, um, I like seasonal decor that's useful that I can actually use. And so obviously I have some things in my house that are just decorative. There's place for that in life for sure. But I also have a really, really big place in my heart for decorative seasonal items that are useful. So this can go right onto your Thanksgiving table. The turkey or the mashed potatoes or whatever can sit right on top of there. It is um, the walnut, let's see, it says Ozark Walnut Ware, solid walnut. So that, so it's very hard wood and then inside, inset into the wood is the tile, and then it has the beautiful fall design with leaves, walnuts, and grapes. Our new house here, we have grapes outside, and they have recently um, been ripe, and we've been picking grapes and eating grapes. It's pretty great, pretty great. Um, that's $18, and it's on the Skunky Junk website. See, the next item, I. <laughs> I have this item for a little while now. This is a, an old kitchen witch, and she would look great hanging in your kitchen all year round or um, just hanging for Halloween. She's got the cutest little face, and it's some sort of... I don't really know what it is. It's hard stuff. If it's resin, it's not a plasticky resin. I'm not so sure that it's ceramic, but it could be. Actually, it probably is ceramic. Let's tap it. Yeah, I kind of I kind of think that it's a ceramic or some sort of anyway. She's cute. That's the point. Um uh, she's got this um her little cape and then she's um what looks like a dress is really pants because it goes around the broom that way. Now, when I got her, her broom was backwards and it's still backwards. So, I just left it. I'll let you turn that around. The scriggly part of the broom should obviously be in the back. Otherwise, she is a witch who flies backwards. But at any rate, she's a kitchen witch and she is $20. And there she is. You name her whatever you want. She's a happy little witch and I love her. So she's $20 on the uh, Skunky Junk website. And most of the stuff in our sales is going to be vintage stuff. Um, a few things will be less vintage than others, and I'll point that out. Um, but every once in a while, I have an item that's been handmade or changed by me, and this is one of those items. This is an old figurine made in Taiwan, um, but it was not a figurine of a witch. It was a figurine of a little old lady carving up apples or something. I don't know. So she's cutting something up. And I turned her into a witch. So she has this little bonnet that's now more of a witchy hat. And all the painting there is done by me. So I used glass paint, so it should be quite permanent. I wouldn't put her through a dishwasher or anything like that, but um, she should hold up very nicely for you. And then I added the, the glittery um, uh, garland and all of that onto her. So there you go. Whoops, wrong way. I'm still not used to this after all these years. Uh, there she is. There's the little witch uh, figurine hand-painted by Sean of Skunky Junk. And she is available for $18 on the Skunky Junk website. Here's a cool one. This is a, a little... 
cauldron and it's a metal cauldron. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's not stainless steel or um, uh, iron. I, I want to be clear about that. It's sort of lightweight. So I almost think maybe it's aluminum, aluminum for those of you up north of the border. Um, at any rate, it's, um, it's metal and it, I, I would say that it's use would be decorative. So um, you can use it for whatever you want. If you know what these were originally made for and you want to use it for that, go for it. I left it with its patina and all the grime on it. So uh, it's not grimy, but it, it's if, if you shined this up, it would be a shiny silver color. I'm choosing not to do that because I like it how it looks. Leave that up to you. Um, inside, I would say, put a little candle. That's what I did in the photographs online. You'll see um, that it looks really great with a little candle in it. But at any rate, this is a little cauldron. You can fill it with candy, fill it with a, can uh, a candle, anything you want. But this little cauldron is $20 and it's available on the Skunky Junk website. Here's a little bottle. I'm gonna go kind of fast through a few of these. This is Citrate Magnesia. Uh, if you look this up on the various online websites, you'll find that it is available, not widely, but it is available. It's a really cool kind of a um, great decoration for Halloween. If you have some, um, oh gosh, I don't know, beakers and that kind of thing, this would be great with that. It would look really great in a Halloween display. This guy is, it has no chips or cracks, nothing like that. It's in good shape, nice clear glass, and it's $10. Now, here's a really cool one, you guys. I've got to grab it. It's behind me. Whoops. It's behind me and high. Look at this thing. I love this. This is a beautiful cased glass um, candy dish. So it's clear glass. You can see that as you look through. Whoa! Hoo -hoo -hoo. You look through the handle on top there. You can see it's clear glass. Um, and then in and then paint it on the inside. So that's where your beautiful Halloween orange and then the black ring on top with the hand painted flowers. Uh, the hand painted flowers are on the outside and then the um, orange and black are painted on the inside. It's a little bit matte looking on the inside. Um, it's been scrubbed all up, but that is just how it looks on the inside. It's very shiny on the outside. Um, as I'm holding it up to the light, it looks a little uh, funky, but it, it really is a very smooth, shiny, beautiful orange color. has no chips or cracks. There's really not a lot of color loss, even on the gold. You can see right there, there's a tiny little fleck of the gold that's missing, but really it's in very, very good shape. The bottom has no chips or cracks, and inside and outside of the um, the lid, it is also without cracks. It, um, it has probably just been displayed and probably not used for close to a hundred years. So that's a beautiful, beautiful pedestal orange glass candy dish with a lid. It is $30 and it's available on the Skunky Junk website. Here's a neat one. Um, I, if somebody buys this and you think of a really great use for it and you put it into a display and um, uh, or, or some sort of a vignette, I would love to see a photograph of what you do with this because I'm, I'm, I, I just think that it would be so, so cool to find just the right spot for it. So it's a giant metal ladle. It's metal, has holes in it. And it does have a, it's that enamel. So it has a couple of chips to the enamel. That's a big chip on the back on the outside. And then there's a little bit smaller one on the inside. What I did in the photographs, this is one of the things I love about um, putting all of the items on my website is that I can sort of um, lay them out and show you a great way to use them. So I just put a little tea light candle down in there. Now I suppose you could put some um, some uh, greenery or that kind of thing in there. You could hang this on a wall in a kitchen with a little something in it. That would be super cute. It says on the back, made in Poland. These are available online for a ton of money. And um, it, mine is really quite affordable at $20 on the Skunky Junk website. 
Let's see, another piece of ephemera. Let's look at this. This is a little Halloween card. It's by Norcross. Whoop, there it is, Norcross, New York. Come on, let's see if we can get this to focus. There it is, Norcross. So it's a really, really, really cute vintage card. It's the normal card size. Um, and then inside, it's not been used, uh, but it, I mean, it is old and it has, you know, like on the back, there's starting to be discoloring. It's not like something was spilled on it or anything like that, but it's just, it's old. So on the inside, there is a little uh, Halloween pumpkin mask, a jack-o'-lantern mask. So you can, if you choose to, you can cut that out and use it as a mask. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that because I think that the card is really great just as a display, but that's how it's set up. And then your greeting is on the very back of the card. So um, it doesn't come with an envelope. Somewhere along the line, I lost the envelope, but you're not gonna mail this anyway, you're gonna display it. So there it is, little black cat, pumpkin, little boy with his uh, flashlight, with his torch. And um, I just, I absolutely adore that. So that's on the website for $7. So I tried to, uh, as I did back in the day when I was doing my live sales um, here, I tried to include some things from various price points. So there you go. Uh, the next one, you need to take a breath, my goodness, um, is down here. This is a nut dish. And it's a very fallish nut dish. So it's that plasticky kind of stuff that um, is similar to, uh, what is it, nature made? Nature, why am I struggling? At any rate, it's that stuff. It looks like wood, but it's plastic. And it's got the leaves on it. And then an, an acorn in the center, you can see that's raised. And that's where your nutcracker goes. And then on the side of that, are two holes and I have available to you one, just one of the little picks. So your nutcracker, your plastic bowl nutcracker will come with one set of crackers. Woo! One set of crackers that's on the floor and one pick. So here's what it looks like on the back. It's just kind of faded and whatever. Uh, let's see, it says multi-prod, that's who made it. It was made by Multiprod. They made that. And <clears throat> let's see if I have a ruler here where I can measure this for you. It is about 10 inches, just a little tiny bit over 10 inches long and maybe six inches wide. So there you go, that's the size, that's the thing. You can put this on your counter and fill it with uh, hazelnuts or almonds or you know whatever it is that you love. Um, include the crackers and then um, it's just a really, really beautiful display. It's about that tall. So, love that. And that's available on the website. It is $14. So $14 for the mid-century plastic wood look acorn nut bowl with crackers. Next I've got for you, these are much less vintage, um, but nevertheless, they look great and they would work well with your vintage decor. So these are pillow co uh, covers. They are that um, kind of off-white, not super smooth. It's um, it's kind of, it's very fall looking, almost like burlap, but I'm scared to say burlap because I mean, it's much, much sm softer than burlap. Um, but it's, uh, anyway, it's that cotton material. These have never been used. They've never had pillows inside of them. And they um, uh, they will come to you folded up without inserts. So you'll have to order your inserts. There's five of these. The first one says blessed, has the um, uh, buffalo plaid pumpkin. Second one has, whoop, is upside down, has the buffalo plaid old truck with orange buffalo plaid pumpkins in it. it says pumpkin patch this way. Uh, so that's that one. That's number two. Number three, I like these. Um, number three says autumn leaves, pumpkin, please. Autumn leaves, pumpkin, please. And it's got the three pumpkins. Uh, the next one. So I have some, not quite like these, but um, 
pillow covers uh, at any rate. This one says home with the pumpkin. Um, out on our outside patio, we have a big uh, patio um, sofa, I guess, and sitting area. And we had, just have it kind of covered with seasonal pillows. And this one just says, hello pumpkin, in sort of a Ray Dunn look. These are not by Ray Dunn. So there's your five pillow covers. They're at a good price of just $20 for all five of those. They're gonna come to you uh, if you're interested in those. The next one is a vintage item again. This is a little turkey planter. He is in great shape. He has no chips or cracks or dings or anything like that, but his paint is just a little faded. So do know that if he if you choose to get this guy, um, his his paint is got, it's almost like it had a little whitewash over it. So that makes it in my mind look nice and vintage and beautiful and old, but I do want you to know that it has that. It's not like a super shiny um, uh, glaze or anything like that. So he's not marked. I don't know where he comes from or where he goes. Where do you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? At any rate, he, he would look really cute with a little, uh, um, some little orange pansies in there, or, you know, stick your pencils and pens or whatever like that in there too. It doesn't matter to me. You use them for whatever you want. But he's really cool orange, red, and yellow kind of colors. So if you need kind of a pop of color to get away from kind of the browns and the, um, the, the darker colors of fall, this guy's a nice little bright piece that I really love. He is $12 and he's on the Skunky Junk website. All right, the next one is a little, little teeny guy. This guy's just $8, and this is a little copper dish. So I, I would call it just a little trinket dish. I'm gonna show you the back first so that you can get a sense of the shape. That's the shape. It's squared off, rounded thing. And then inside it has the beautiful enameling in the nice fall Halloween-y kind of colors. So it's it's nice and vibrant orange. It's got the, I don't know if it's a black or a dark, dark brown, and then the, the kind of the copper color around there. So um, it's in good shape, but it's old. And um, it would look good wherever it is that you need just a little spot to throw your change every day. Maybe, um, uh, maybe a place to set your keys down. Um, you could use it as a spoon rest in your kitchen. Anyway, it's just uh, $8 and it's available on the site. There's a few um, sets of uh, salt and pepper shakers and then sets of figurines. So we're gonna go through those. These guys are, they look like the little Inesco bears, but they are not. They are by, they're uh, crafted in Sri Lanka by um, ooh, I can't remember what that says. I looked it up and so it's on the website. You'll be able to see it. But at any rate, um, they're the Pumpkin Patch Bears. The name of the company is there in scroll. It's like a cursive -y thing that's hard to read. So at any rate, it doesn't really matter so much who made them because you're just going to look at them and appreciate how cute they are. It's little mama bear, papa bear. They have little pumpkin bodies, little crows, and they are definitely looking cute for fall. So those guys, they are about, oh golly, what am I doing? Oh, three and three quarters inches. So just under four inches tall. Um, there's no chips or cracks. There's just a tiniest bit of loss of color to his hat around the edges there, but it's, when you feel it, it's not rough or anything like that. But at any rate, there they are. They're the cute little bears. Those guys are available for $12. There are some plastic salt and pepper shakers, the little chipmunks. I love these guys. I'm pretty sure these are Hallmark, but they're not marked as Hallmark, and Hallmark usually marks their stuff. So it makes me a little bit nervous about saying that they are um, Hallmark, but I mean, that's that's the look they have at any rate. So there they are, they're just super cute, little pilgrims, good on your uh, how, uh, Thanksgiving table, salt and pepper shakers. I kind of like that he has a black hat for pepper and she has a white hat for salt. That makes it um, convenient to be able to tell what they are. For those of us who can never remember if the larger number 
or smaller number of holes means salt or pepper. I can never keep that straight. They do have their little plastic stoppers at the bottom and they're not terribly old. These are probably from the late 80s, early 90s. So, and they're short. They're like, what, three inches tall or so. So there's those guys. Those are super, super cute. And those are uh, $8 on the website. Um, I've got little tiny turkeys. These ones I believe are marked Hallmark. I guess they're, well, let's see. I don't know. I guess my eyes are gone bad. I can't tell what it says. Anyway, they're little tiny plastic turkeys. And they're again salt and pepper shakers. These are plastic. They have their plastic stoppers on the bottom. And um, they're in good shape. You know, they're cute. Just little plastic turkeys. So those are available for $7. And then I've got these little, these are not salt and peppers. These are just figurines. Oh, sorry, I kicked you. Shake it up. Um, these are little uh, figurines. These are by Lund's Lights, made in Taiwan. Little praying boy and girl pilgrims. So no chips, no cracks. Um, she could use a good hit with the... Uh, um, the magic eraser to because they're kind of that um bisque sort of matte um uh stuff ceramic so I, th I think she would buff right out she's got a little bit few marks on her her uh, it's not a helmet <laughs> her bonnet so anyway there's those guys they are so cute little little boy little girl they're praying and they're little pilgrims so those are like three and three quarters inches tall also. So that's about how big those are. And they're just so cute. All right. Um, you know, I have another set of salt and pepper shakers here that I don't think I put on the website yet. I guess I got to remember to do that. These um, were given as gifts from John and... Wilma, John and Wilma in 1971. Anyway, they also are little plastic. These are little plastic uh, pilgrim salt and peppers. They have plastic stoppers underneath. They're in good shape. They've got no problems, but they're just cute little plastic guys. So those will also be on the website, but I've got to remember to put them on there. Yikes, because they're not up there yet. Here's a little squirrel. I love this little guy. I love these. I think that they originally came in sets with a larger and a smaller. This is just the little smaller guy. He's been hand painted by somebody. He's made of cement, I believe. Fairly heavy and um, made of cement. So at the bottom here where the paint, somebody glued him on something or something. So then the paint peeled off and you can see underneath there, cement. So you kind of know that he's made of cement. But his... Um, his painting is in really good shape. It's it's well painted. It's very cute. The cute little eyes and anyway, that little guy is available for seven dollars. Let's see. Got another cool one here. This is where is it? Right here. This is a little girly candle. Actually, it's a big girly candle. So you can see by how big it is in my hand. This is the larger size of girly candle. It is a, um, a Tom Turkey and it's in great shape. It's never been burned and it does not look like it's ever been like dropped so that it has any dings on it or anything. It's got a little scratch in the wax right there. I mean, little, not a big deal. So he's in like the better shape that you see these old girly candles. Um, his only flaw is his base. The base is, you know, it's that cardboard and it's, you know, been wrinkled up a little bit. So it's been used for display for a lot of years by a lot of different people down through the ages. So girly candle, you can see it says whoop, girly at the bottom. And it originally was 39 cents. Now it's eight bucks. So, you know, some things just get more expensive with age and that's one of them. So, girly candles available on the Skunky Junk website. There are some cookie cutters. These are metal cookie cutters. These are not old, um, but they are fun. So they're in Halloween colors. Oops, 
Halloween colors, there's the orange pumpkin. These are metal. There is the white um, ghost. Hold him crooked so you can see his whiteness. There is a white moon. And there is a black witch head. I think she's gonna take a little, the most work as far as once you make the cookies, you're gonna have to decorate her up so that you can tell that she's a witch head. But um, that's what those are. There's four of them. Those are available for $8 um, if you would like to make some Halloween cookies with those. I would really encourage it. Now, I have another, look at it, it's right there. Another um, beautiful, beautiful candy dish. And I guess candy dishes are pretty appropriate for Halloween time, but this one is in beautiful Halloween colors, similar to the last one, but, but different in design. This one has a very, very beautiful kind of Art Deco looking design. And the gold is in really, really great shape all the way around and on top of the handle. So, um, and so this one too is painted on the inside. That's where the orange and the black were put. So it shows through shiny, shiny, shiny on the outside because it's um, clear glass on the outside. See, it's clear glass, which is what you can see here around the rim. Uh, painted on the inside, which shows on the outside. And then the gold and the black design, that was all painted on the outside. Does that make sense? So that's how that looks. This is one of those kind of lids that, you know, kids would slam down and chip all up. But this one has, I mean, not the sign of a chip. So it's really, really a nice, nice shape. Um, and then the bottom is clear on the bottom clear glass, but then painted the orange on, on, on the inside around the edge and then the gold painted over the top. There's tiniest, tiniest bit of loss of color on the gold, but really this thing could have really just been purchased straight off the showroom floor. You see things on the shelves at Target that are in worse shape than this, and this is almost 100 years old. So it's this gorgeous, gorgeous black and gold glass candy dish. Uh, pretty clear glass starburst on the bottom. You could use this, fill it with gold candies, and uh, it's $35. It is available on the Skunky Junk website. All right, here's, this is one if you like to do little vignettes and displays. It's, I love it just because it's this beautiful orange and black box. The box has old, old, old tape on it. So it looks old because it's old. It's very vintage and it looks, it's just, just very cute. So what's inside here is a compass and the compass is inside there. If you wanna use it as a compass, go for it. I mean, it's got, I'll pull it out. It's a little compass and it even has a little cotton bag to hold your compass in. There's your compass. Compass seems to work. I didn't go get myself lost in the woods to just 100% make sure that it's accurate, but it works. And so it's just really a cute little orange and black box that's great for display. So that is available on the website for $12. This one is a Fenton Amberina Daisy and Buttons basket. So it's got the twig handles. Um, it is... Um, it, it does glow, which you're probably not going to be able to see very well, but it has that orange glow that beautiful Amberina has. It is not huge. You can see that it's, oh, golly. Keep putting, starting with the wrong end of the ruler. Six inches, so it's about six inches wide. Has no chips, no cracks. I'll just run my fingers around it one more time to be sure before I say that. I promise that. Nope, it's in good shape. So it's been, um, this is, gosh, I don't know all the right words for glass. I love glass, but I'm not a glass specialist. So this was made in a mold. So however you describe that, that's what this was, made in a mold. So it wasn't blown or anything like that. So uh, as you feel, feel around the bottom, it has, you can see where the, pieces of the mold came together and there's the little nubs. So that's what you would feel there. But at any rate, this is a beautiful piece of Fenton glass. It's Amberina, it glows and it's $20. I love this one. Speaking of cool glass, this is slag glass. Um, 
and it's a little toothpick holder. So I pick up toothpick holders all the time. I love little toothpick holders. Um, I don't have a lot of room for display here in the house, and so that's why I like small things, because I can display more small things rather than one or two really big things. So if you live in a small space, but you like to collect and you like to have a collection of things, let me just suggest to you that toothpick holders are a really great way to go because you can, there's a lot of different ones. There's beautiful, beautiful colors of glass. Um, this is a slide glass, so it's like a light tan, um, sort of a butterscotchy brown, and it's got that cute owl. So it's the owl poking his head out of a stump. So the, it's a three-sided stump. Uh, that's how it looks underneath, like a little beehive. And then inside is where you stick your matches or your toothpicks. So anyway, this guy is available for $20. He's super, super cute. I love him. Here's a fun one. This is one of those ones that's super useful. So it's plates and cups. They're plastic. They are Tupperware. They're marked as Tupperware on the bottom. And you can see that there are the four fall colors. These are small glasses, so like child-sized tumblers or very large shots. So there's the, the green, the orange, the yellow, the brown, and then there are the matching little, little plates that go with them. So the one thing I want to make sure that I point out, there's the uh, brown one, there's the green one. Now the yellow one and the orange one have had something hot put on them or they were put in the microwave or something. I don't know. They've got that kind of marking on them that just doesn't come off. You can scrape at it. You can scrub at it. You can do anything you want and it just doesn't come off. Um, old Tupperware got that. The orange one looks the worst. Um, but, you know, you could use this one to put a giant pillar candle in or something to cover all of that up or just give this to the kid that you like the least. So anyway, there's the four cups and the four plates. Useful and wonderful. They're marked at a low price because of the flaws on the plates. Those are $12 on the website. One of the really cool things about fall, one of the things that uh, lots of people enjoy in the fall is hunting. So uh, I've got a little, a little hunting figurine. So here's grandpa, he's got his shotgun. He's pointing it at the sky. So I assume that he is a duck hunter. It is possible that he is hunting flying elephants or deer that have wings. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a shotgun and he's duck hunting. So there's grandpa, it looks like wood. He's just that brown color, but it's some sort of resin or something like that. It is not hand carved wood. It's in good shape. There's what the bottom looks like. It's got little felties to protect your table or whatever, your countertop. And he's got a little dust on him, which I'll get off before I send to you. Anyway, there's there's that little guy. He, If we measure the tallest part, that's where the gun is. And at that point, it's about six and a half inches tall, something like that. So a cute little um, figurine of grandpa shooting his pew pew to go hunting in the fall. That guy's 12 bucks. I love this one. This one came out of my personal collection, actually. Um, I had this, <laughs> you guys. Um, back when we used to go camping, I used to have a whole box of camping stuff and it was all cool old vintage looking stuff. And I always thought, well, if I ever have a cabin or something, I'll use all of that in my cabin. Well, then we got the cabin and we went a whole different direction with the color. So this is like a wall hanger. Um, it's got the little hook on the back, metal hook you can see there. I, I suppose you could use it as a spoon rest. It's got like a spot in the middle that seems spoon resty. You could use it for that if you wanted to. You could not use this as a, as a trivet because I just don't think it's hot big enough and I think that if you put something hot on him he would melt but at any rate he's a little owl so he sat in my camping box for years and years and then never really got used so now he's for sale <laughs> so I love 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 lucite 
So um, that's what he is. He's kind of clear on top, opaque on the back. He's got orange, he's got yellow, and he's in really, really pretty nice condition. The back is a little discolored just from age, uh, but there's he's never been melted or dropped on a horn or anything like that. So he's, he's intact and in really nice shape. He is uh, about eight inches tall and he's 20 bucks. So there you go. You can have yourself a fall owl, lucite owl. There's, there's a lot of things for sale this month, you guys, so it's pretty exciting, but um, I'll try to rush through. This is a, a little set of cast iron cauldrons. This one is more of a scuttle, and this one's more of a cauldron. These probably could go with, if you have a little one of those cast iron um, stove miniature stoves you could use these with it they're they're large for that but they're small for anything else the the perfect size though to put a little tea light candle in there i think that's how they look really nice these are seem to be cast iron they're heavy they're metal whatever kind of metal that is they are heavy so there's the bottoms they're not marked or anything like that you could hit these with some spray paint if you want the back is just a little rust on it um, but I like the way that they look just like this. So the, um, you know, updating them is up to you, but those guys are 20 bucks. This next one is a little apple and it is a nutcracker. So it's a, <laughs> I, I, these are the most impractical nutcrackers. I think that they're only good for display, but in theory, you can stick your walnut or your whatever in there, screw, 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 screw this up and it would crack your nut. But at any rate, they make really great display pieces. There's lots of them out there uh, of different ones, but I love this little apple one. So this is wood, it's painted, it's a little apple. It's not marked or anything like that. I'm not sure who made it or anything, but it's just super cute. $12 for the wooden apple. Here's a cool one. This one's $21. This is one of those old uh, sparkler friction toys, that's what they're called. So when you push this, can you see the sparks sparking inside? So it does work. I'm gonna only do it that one time because I don't want to wear down any more of the, um, the sparks that happen inside of it. It's tin, you can see that it's got lots of patina to it. It's got the, the old black cats with the red, white, and blue swirl the red and blue cellophane, and behind there underneath is where your sparks fly. It's got the plastic plunger, and the plunger, you have to, when, once you push it in, it used to be when you are kids, you know, you just went woon, 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 <laughs> over and over, and it would just spin and spin and spin the sparks. This is older, it needs to be treated just with a little more care than that. It does work as I showed you, but once you push it in, you kind of have to pull it back out. It doesn't spring itself back out the way it would have when it was brand new. These are a real collector's item. It being one that is um, clearly a Halloween item makes it even more valuable. So if you happen to collect this stuff, you'll know that the $21 is uh, a really, really, really great price for that. And if you don't collect those, Eh, you're not going to be interested in it anyway. So there you go. Here's a couple of turkeys. Oh, a couple of little turkeys. These hold a, a taper candle. So there's two of them. They are identical. Their little heads both look over towards the same side. So uh, they are not marked on the bottom. They are kind of a bisky matte color. But I kind of like that because they're bright and, sh and um, colorful, so they don't need the glossy shine over the top. The, the matte look to them actually tones it down a little bit, makes it look more appropriate. So you can see they've got lots of bright, cheerful colors on them. They hold candles nicely. You can see online pictures with candles in them, and they're very, very cute. So they'll be good on your Thanksgiving table. They are, to scroll up, 12 bucks. $12 for those guys. Um, then the next ones are another nice little display piece, also for Thanksgiving, also turkeys. These are two clear glass turkeys. Now these are a marriage. These did not come together. 
and they are not identical, but they look good together. So this one, um, let's see, get them up there, is a, will hold a taper candle. It goes down inside there. It's hard to see clear glass, but at any rate, um, no, neither of these have chips, cracks, or anything like that. They're nice, shiny, clear glass. And then this one is in more smooth glass. It's got his big tail back there. And then you could put a little, um, this one is Avon, look at that. Uh, this one you could put a little votive or tea light in. So these would make a nice little pair. Um, it, or if you have even more clear glass turkeys, it'd be really, really cute to have a whole display of clear glass turkeys. But uh, two different ones, a votive and a taper. And so those look nice together and they are $12.50. Here's one that's not as vintage. This one, oh, I can't remember the year. 2002, 2002. This guy's plastic, so he's not not old, but he is just cute. It's a little plastic bobblehead by Accoutrements, and um, it's got the little, uh, you know, collar that has rhinestones, little sparkles around his neck. He's super cute. He would be really great little Halloween decoration. So he's available for $18. I try to keep my prices really um, below market. Just that's who I am. That's how I do. So if you review this stuff on eBay and that kind of thing, you'll probably find some that are more expensive. You may find some that are a little cheaper. I don't know, but... I do try to keep my prices really, really reasonable. So I hope that you find that to be true as you shop with us and as we get to know each other. Uh, this is a little wall pocket. Ooh, I love wall pockets. So once again, in this sale, I tried to include some of the things that I love because it's just been a while since I've been around. So this is a little leaf wall pocket. It's made in Japan. I love made in Japan stuff. This um, is yellow and then it has the blue vein, er, blue, brown veins. So uh, it's super, super cute. It has no chips or cracks. It does have just some kind of roughness around the more raw edges of it, but no chips or cracks or anything like that. It does have some crazing. It's a beautiful little vintage made in Japan piece. You could uh, hang it on your wall with just a bit of greens coming out of it. Some uh, little uh, acorns and that kind of thing would look really cute on this. I just adore wall pockets. They make, if you have a like a feature wall that has a bunch of different pictures and stuff, you need to break that up with something else. And little wall pockets are just such a great way to break up the pictures that you have displayed together. So this guy's $12 and 50 cents. Some more ephemera. Ephemera. This is a cool one. And I'll tell you what, if you look this one up online, just this first piece, is available on eBay for more money than I have this whole set of three. So this is some kind of hunting related um, uh, ephemera for fall. This one is a little pack, there's, there's three pieces. I'll show you this one first. Sportsman's Log Maps. This is a little folder and it's still full of all of the maps. Most of them look like they've never been out of here, never been used. They're not randy tabby at all. So even if you wanted to pull these out and use these maps for something, you could use them to wrap gifts. You could, you could um, uh, frame these and make really, really cool pieces. But they're double-sided maps. And these are maps of areas of Washington. So these are Washington maps. Um, this one, this particular one, first one I happened to grab out of here, has Fort Lewis on it, right in the center there. That's down near Olympia. That's um, now Joint Base Lewis McCord, but at this time it was just Fort Lewis. There's the Hood Canal. And um, over towards this direction is where our cabin is. Yay! At any rate, that's one of the many, many, many maps that are in here. That one's ma marked Map 22. And I see, gosh, uh, 35. I don't know that they're all in here. I did not go through all the maps. So anyway, there's a bunch of maps in there. You can see that. Um, Sportsman's Publications, Hood River, Oregon. So when these were done, 
or where these were done. And they were, ooh, I thought there was a year on this. I'm not seeing it right this second. Detailed maps inside. Well, the maps, maybe the maps had the date on them. Mm, I am not seeing it. At any rate, Sportsman's Log Maps, that's what you got. You can see what they are. The graphics on there are really great. Look at this old camper. I love that. So that looks like 70s to me. Uh, a second piece is this Handling Your Big Game Kill. This is done by the Forest Service in 1966. That's that. So it's a little pamphlet about how to deal with the things that you've killed. Um, so that's just a smaller pamphlet. And then the last one is the Hunter Safety Book. I love this because I love the graphics on it and I love the colors. It's kind of an orange and a teal, my colors. So orange and teal together. There's dad hunting with his son and his daughter, which I also I love that. So this was copyrighted most recently, 1974. This is the 12th printing, 1974. So I was just a little teeny tiny tot when this was made. But it'll be interesting to uh, go through this and see what all the hunting regulations and things were in uh, 1974. There's some color pictures and just all kinds of cool graphics and cool stuff inside of there. So it's in good shape. It does have a little spot where somebody stuck a price tag or something on the back of it. And so the color's lost there. But other than that, I mean, this is intact. All three of these are in really, really good shape. There's no looseness of covers or rips or tears on the pages. So those three beautiful pieces of ephemera are 20 bucks. There's one more piece of, well, not one more, another piece of ephemera. These are little Beistel Halloween pictures. These are like brand new. They're two-sided. They are in perfect shape. So they're, um, Let's see, there's no pinholes in them. There's no tape residue or tears or anything like that on the backs of them. So the front's shiny, the back is matte. First one is the little haunted house of the witch. Second one is the witch, she's now left the house and she's in the sky in front of a giant orange or perhaps the moon. And then uh, we all know that this is the actual shape of a moon. So clearly she's in front of an orange. A uh, black cat and a pumpkin on a post. So anyway, you get those three. They're sm they're smaller. They're not huge, um, and they're they look like brand new, so they're nice. Three buy still pieces. Those are ten dollars for the three of those. A wacky witch got a wacky witch comic book. Look at that! Another really great piece of ephemera. Uh, something that would look really, really great in display. I have not taken this out of the plastic and I'm not inclined to. Um, it's It says Wacky Witch and that's what you get. So uh, let's see, I don't see the date on it. I guess I would have to take it out. Yeah. It's probably 1974 because this car, this bike ad expires January 1974. So this was probably actually 1973. Anyway, there you go. So it's a little wacky witch. I don't see tears. I don't see bends. I don't see folds. I am not a comic expert by no means, but I know that a lot of these old comics, cause I have a lot of them, um, you know, they are thumbed through by kids and thrown on the floor and shoved under the bed and they get pretty ratty. This one is not ratty at all. It's in really, really good looking shape. I, again, have not opened it. I don't know what's inside, but the, um, I mean, you can see that the pages are intact and in good shape. It doesn't look messy or anything like that. So that's that, Wacky Witch, she's eight bucks. And then here's one more. This one, I have no idea what the story is like or about or whatever, um, but it's called Tom Huntner, Sophomore Halfback. So there's a bunch of different stories about Tom Huntner that I found online. There's stories about him doing baseball and a bunch of other things, I don't know. Um, but I love the graphics. This is a hardback book and this is a um, dust cover with the graphics. So the book itself is just, well, it's dark blue, it looks black. Um, 
but the dust cover is not perfect. You can see it's torn a little bit on the edge, but that just makes it look nice and old. I, I think it looks really, really great. And it's brown and orange and white, so really great colors for fall display. And this would make a great, I mean, football is a fall thing, make a really great backdrop for a display. If you have um, a little football uh, figurine or that kind of thing, look really great together. So just that book, I'm, I'm showing you the figurine with it, but the book itself is $10. It is, in fact, some sort of a religiously, I mean, it's like a storybook for, I don't know, middle-aged kids or whatever. <laughs> middle school kids, not middle-aged kids. Um, so if if you're interested in reading it, you should know that it is kind of religious-y. I didn't realize that when I bought it, but that's what it is. You can see it's got like a cross as the on the inside. Um, and the year, the copyright is MCMXLIV. I translated that on the website, but I don't remember. So if you want to figure that out for yourself. But anyway, I think it's great for display. <coughs> Excuse me. So it'd be really, really great little hardcover, fairly good shape book to use for display this fall, $10. That's the end of the items that I have for the fall fun event. So uh, I may add other things to the website. Um, doesn't Just because this is what I showed you today on the video doesn't mean that's the only thing that'll be on the website but um, other things could get added. And then our next sale will be in about two weeks and it'll be, again, a black and white photograph, camera, sort of a photo photography type of theme. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been so great being back with you. Loved spending this time with you. And I hope that you enjoy this new format. Give me your feedback in the comments down below. Uh, I look forward to reconnecting with everybody, and I'm really, really excited about this next chapter. So once again, if you're interested in any of the items from tonight, or if you just want to go look at how I staged them, uh, feel free to jump over to skunkyjunk.com, and I look forward to hearing from you and um, seeing your comments down below. Thanks, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye!